In this lecture, we will talk about background images position. We can see in our demo site that the background image here, it's more zoomed in and the athlete is positioned differently than our site that we're building right now. Okay, so let's go back to our website. Here we will, instead of just deleting this image, we will duplicate this section. I will create this section just underneath the top section and then we can compare between them. First thing, let's just delete the image widget and immediately we can see that the height of the section dropped. Now the section height is set by the right column. I think the first thing to do just to increase the height of the section. So we'll go to the section settings and here under height, we will change it to mean height and we can set it to be maybe 500 or 550 pixels. After we change it, we are facing a new issue. The section is tall. However, the columns inside the section are in the middle of the section and they don't take the full height of the section. If you remember that earlier we set it up to be in the middle over here and if we will change it back to the default which is top, it won't solve the problem because now it starts from the top but it's still limited to the height of the right column which is the highest column between the two. What we would like to have is both columns to take the full height of the section and all the elements inside the columns to be centered. We can achieve that by changing the column position to stretch then both columns will take the full height of the section and the elements will be centered inside. After you did so, let's go to the style tab of the left column and set the background image to be this coach. And now we can see that after setting up as a background image, unlike an image widget, we have the option to play with the position of the image, where we want it to be, how we would like it to be displayed. We have way more options. For example, here in the size option, we can change it to cover or change it to custom size. Right, we can switch it to pixels and then we can decide that the background image will be bigger than what the columns can actually handle and that's how we're zooming in into the image. As you can see, this coach is way more zoomed in than the image above it. Okay, it may not be a big difference with, with this image, but in your WordPress journey, you will notice that sometimes you will need to use it. You can also set it back to default and here inside the position, we can change it to custom and that will be very nice if we'd like to display the image really, really big. And then we can play with the position on the X and Y axis and see what it looks like and position it in exactly as we wish. So again, you have many, many options to play with it. You can style it and display it however you want. I'm bringing it back to this option. And now I can just see how it looks on the full screen. And of course, I also need to make sure it's looking good on mobile and tablets. And therefore, I'm going to switch to mobile. So we have some changes to make. We need to position the image better so we will see the coach. And we can also make the column just a little bit taller so we can see more of the picture, more of the image. So let's start by positioning the guy better. So here we'll go to position or size. Any of them, doesn't really matter. You'll need to play with it with your own image, of course. I'm going to change it to top center or even custom and just play with the position like so. And if we would like to make the column higher, we're just going to drag a spacer element into this column and make the spacer bigger, something like that. Now, of course, the spacer element not going to affect the way it looks on tablets or desktop because the right column, the one that set the height, is taller than the spacer height. So the spacer widget only going to affect the mobile view. Now on tablet we can also adjust the position by moving it left to right. Again we are dealing with the tablets view so it's only going to affect on tablets. And as you can see the spacer element will not affect the tablet view or the desktop view because it's shorter than the right column that set the height. Let's go back to our desktop. We can see that it's looking good on desktop as well. And now we can delete the first section. We're going to keep only the second section, update the page, refresh it, and it's looking amazing. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to reverse the order of the columns on mobile and also how to animate the elements.